Yeah. Make sure you're unmuted microphone wise. Oh [inaudible 1:44:07.90] Well, Thomas' [laughs] Everyone's on wheel line here. [laughs] You're not preferred. Oh, my uh personal preference. Yeah. Well, if it's on, you can talk. You're not on. No, you're not on the camera. You are now. [laughs] 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 Good to know. [noise] [laughs] If I do say so myself. Hey, you said we're doing tonight shows? [noise] [noise] Yeah. Oh, I thought you did [noise] I'm just gonna change names then, I'm just kidding. [laughs] Isn't that how you're supposed to talk? [laughs] [noise] No, it's like, [noise] Good to know. [noise] Hey, we're the Washington Post, and I'm Jeffrey Zucker. Mhm. Um, I was just wondering, once we get off the air, we can get that show on the TV. [noise] Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you're talking about the rotation of the show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna cover the Super Bowl. Oh. We could talk about that. [laughs] [noise] [laughs] And that's why I was wondering wh- if we had a zip code reference, because you haven't heard about it or whatever. Yeah. [noise] Um, it might be easier to just go to that one. Oops. Should we reserve the rest of the oil oil? Yeah, of course. Okay. [noise] I should stop [laughs] Yeah, there's no point. Can I can I have that lobster, please? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'll have I'll have the other half of it. Oh, the other half? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. [laughs] [noise] Oh, well. Thanks for watching us eat. [noise] I'm sorry you have to listen to me eat. [laughs] [laughs] At least its not like noodles and soup. [noise] Oh, yeah. [laughs] [laughs] Yeah, that would be bad.
it got when it happened. I did not do that part of the input. Okay, okay. I've got to tell the internet that we're live. Got to do that. Retweet with comment. Live now at live. Retweet. You should too. All right, so uh, this is actually my old cell phone, this camera here. Um, and it's doing pretty good. I actually like the way the quality looks. I thought that it would be problematic with, because um, it's an older phone, but it looks pretty great. So I guess I'll start with the stuff on the side. This is the, I'll put it up in the corner here, the little, the mask that I'm working on, well not little, it's just the mask. Um, and the first step is going to be I make it just a little smaller what smaller but then you won't be able to see it i'll be able to see it but i'm only your working right here okay. four cameras means does mean increased chance of Winslow's visibility I'm really not going to be working that much. Remember, he's got a longer neck. He's got uh, a 17, 17 right? inch but neck. The, yes. the, the piece that was on it, obviously we've made another mask since. Yeah. It's not on it anymore. Um, I don't think that will change the back panel very much, though. No, I was just letting you know, for the design, you have an extra you know, inch down there to work with. I guess I should probably accommodate for that in the new back panel. That's what you need first, right? Yeah. When I'm making masks, I like to uh, put the back panel on before I do any of the other applique on the masks. Um, I feel like once I know um, how much fabric I'm losing when it's fully closed, uh, helps me uh, place all the rest of the designs, the eyes, the mouth, just the random applique pieces around the head. Uh, it also uh, helps with keeping the mask secure on the head. And he's got a tw little bit of a larger head, too, like a 23-inch head altogether. A larger crown, I mean. That doesn't affect what I'm doing currently that much. Uh, yeah, no. I was just, just in case you, again, for the shape of the pattern that you're making. So the first step of any process in the Closet Champion workshop is I make the patterns. Before any fabric is cut or anything else is... Get away from me, fruit fly. What are you even doing here? Green Ant, you're going to have to settle for me drinking some iced coffee because I got a headache. Yeah, we haven't updated any of the um, channel point redemptions for the bug soup. Well, there's no, I mean, there's only one. No, I mean, we haven't. We haven't made new ones. That's what I was saying. What, um, uh, what would even be there? Like, what would y'all want to redeem a Fi? Like, what would... No, I think, I don't think we set anything up. I think this just lets you uh, accumulate the points so when the streams... When the lullaby happen. lounge start again, you can spam you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make the. Um, I'm gonna have to make the points significantly. Hi, Ari. Uh, what am I saying? I'm gonna have to make the things more expensive because everyone's gonna have all these points from watching Bug Soup.
Yeah, a gallon of water is the whole first stream. Just, uh, we'll title the stream, Lady Drinks Water for an Hour. I feel like that would include some footage I'm not comfortable with <laughs> um, recording. Oh, you, you want me to do the bug soup stream in accent? That's a lot. I don't know if I'm, I mean, I'm capable of it. I've only got one accent, guys. No, no. Mm -hmm. nope. It's not, and it's, it's not different. racist that it's like that because... Whoa! <laughs> no. Why is that your selling point? Because, Why'd you start there? Because <laughs> the way you said no made it sound like it was, you know... No, that's... That yeah. was not... The no, no, no made it sound like it was something bad. It is not. I'm just bad at accents. Why is that... That was not the clarification that we needed. It was. It did not make me feel any better about what was happening. Ari says let him speak. Go for it, Ben. <laughs> you uh, can go right ahead. Like I said, I am not good at accents. <clears throat> I may need a moment. Hold on. The tool I'm using here is called a French curve. <laughs> uh, oh, hi, I Beth. Uh, Bella Mathiel Elf in the chat is the woman who sent me those clip, the articles of me in the newspaper oh, yeah. when I was yeah. a kid that she was in with me. I know, Shark, that was such a bad move. All right, babe, it's your time. <laughs> it's not her. <laughs> I didn't say it was sweet. I'm just saying that it was, it's, it exists. <laughs> it'll come when you guys aren't expecting it. No, you have to do it now. Mm -mm. It's been. Like Winslow, it'll just show up randomly and you'll be like, oh, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Um, but I guess I could do, I could do some of the accents. I could probably do Irish for a considerable amount of time, but The worst part about w looking at the chat via my phone mm -hmm. is that I'll lose the chat. Like, if I back out to tweet or whatever. And Do you want me to? I can put it up on this screen. Like, no. I can just make it large on this screen. No, no, it's fine. I have it because I won't be able to look at either one from over here when I'm working. I could absolutely do some of the accents for... I guess we'd have to, like, determine how long it's going to go on. Do you want the fur on the side to be vinyl pieces, or do you want that to be... The swoosh? Yeah. I want the swoosh to be in... Um, or do you want it to be on that... Um, the that, white... The stretch vinyl. The, yeah, the white stretch pleather. Shark, I have the song that I wrote at, from your inspiration stuck in my head. My, um... My new... It's not a theme song, but... My new promo song that you... Where is any of this for you? It's up there on the shelf. Oh. Where it's, yeah. It blended behind the uh, whatever that was over there. Oh! How did that even do that? I guess how quickly. No, it be was. careful. You got you're hitting the other camera. Listen, I'm only goblin. 
This is why when I do the lullaby lounge, I'm like in one very specific area that I don't move from. And even then I still bump into things. Do any other vagina havers in the chat also get clumsier when they're on their period? Cause I'm on like day two and I feel like I can't walk right. No reason not to. Just to add a little bit more detail. I wonder if the badger's going to join us today. I didn't I didn't tag him in the stuff on Twitter, so he definitely like it's not like he knows what we're working on his mask, but I feel like he'd like to see. I'll uh I'll well I didn't put out a tweet yet because I just copied yours. Does it get worse after you have a kid, Beth? Like, does the clumsiness get worse after there's a baby happens? Because I feel like mom brain is also a thing. So like the combined version of that and, and period clumsiness just sounds like I don't think I remember what Estrada's. It's at Badger Estrada. I'm pretty sure. Hi, Holly. Good morning. I know it's like, what is it? 9 a.m. where you are? Yeah. The added bonus. Holly, welcome. So happy to see you. Yeah, I can't find them. Holly, we're talking about what happens when you, um, like, the combination <clears throat> of period brain period clumsiness and mom brain because I just kicked Does he have an underscore in his name? I think it's just Badger Estrada. Let me double check. Maybe I can't tag him. Yeah, at Badger Estrada. He's not showing up at all in my... I'll, I'll tweet at him. No, I mean, I've got a tweet with the photo of the mask oh. we're making. Yeah, it's just... Just that. Sometimes people just don't show up. Yeah. Because, like, I don't want to um, throw his at out there. I just, I'm putting it as a tag. Mm hmm All right, so, first pattern made. This is the panel that you can see. Oh, oh God. Okay, so I got to go up and there over. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is hard to do. There we go. This part right here in the back. Alright. There you go, babe. Step one. Now time for the swoops. Hey! Omega's here. I didn't get a chance to read your message on um <clears throat> on Twitter yet, but I saw that you sent one. Uh, I saw it right after immediately like we were dealing with package theft, so just a reminder that I also, you know, see my phone screen. I have this as a phone background that you can get on our Patreon if you would like this t-shirt design as your background on your phone. I'm not taking you guys away. I'm just going to um, Check that fix this camera real yeah. quick because it got kicked over. Because of period feet? So I was thinking about this the other night, babe. And I... I'm, I'm talking to you with the rest of the patriarchy here because I think it's a great idea and I would like to be backed up in my genius in case you think it's stupid. <laughs> um, 
It's a great start to an idea. Great start. I I'm know going I've, to, uh, you get, already sold it. I'm going to get for, the gang on you. First of all, you. let me tell you the most important thing. It's not racist. <laughs> I have this great idea. It's not racist. Let me start there. I know you were worried. This light is really bright. I may close the window in this area. No, not it looks that I, good. No, I mean, it, we're working with white fabric. Oh. You won't be able to. Yeah, I think if you, I mean, the curtain doesn't. So, like, just for now, while we're working on the white stuff. Okay. Just so it's easier to see. Um, so, first off, my idea, it's not racist. I know you were worried. Um, I was thinking, because we need a new video for our Patreon, right? Like a video that says, here's yeah. what we do and here's who we are, because the video that's there is... Outdated. It, very outdated. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking about making a video that's like me at a, as your bartender so like we set up a table to look like a bar and then put a, the green screen behind me and it's a the background is a bar and i'm like so what do you have and then we i describe all the different things the patreon does because i was talking about how i want the lullaby lounge to feel like a cabaret right so essentially like the the Need an it's not racist graphic to splash on screen sometimes. There are people gonna be that are gonna take that very out of context. Um, so I wanted to do a thing where like I'm a bartender and it's at, you're at the lounge and it's like what do you have and we say like oh we've got this and we describe one of the things that we do or we've got this and we describe one of these things one of the things we do and have it be like that sort of. My only beef setup. with that would be um, length, because I I think of something like a Patreon video. So, um, ooh, I think it would be, be like a minute and no, a half. Li under two minutes. I was going to say um, a minute and a half to two minutes. I don't think it would have to take that long. Because you really just need, like, it's just context for the clips that we're showing, right? Yeah, I'm like, not saying it wouldn't be under two minutes. But you run the risk when you have, like, a setup that doesn't have anything, um, you know, like uh, an intro like that to kind of uh, set up what the video is going to be. Other than that, I'm not against the idea. And maybe you could be in the background, like, like drying out glasses, like you're the bar back. Um, we do have a friend with a fake bar set up. Oh shit, we basement. do have a friend with a fake bar set up in his basement and he would probably love to ha have us over because we're delightful. I totally I don't forgot. know, well, he's redoing his basement, so, because, you know, he's been redoing his house since yeah. quarantine. So, I have to... Can the bartender find. be a clown? I don't know because here's my issue with the bartender being a clown. Um, the, I don't think, well, I mean, the clown is me, but I know a lot of people are anti-clown, and sometimes the people that aren't super clown, you gotta let them, you gotta, <laughs> y'all, you gotta let them warm up to the clown stuff sometimes, because chlorophilia is, or chlorophobia, I mean chlorophilia, but chlorophobia is a real thing, and there are some people that are truly terrified of clown imagery, um, no matter how nice they are. No matter how nice and no matter how hot the clown is. So I don't want to like potentially deter people. And not not to like say not to say that that is what I do is a well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a pretty strong cup of tea anyway. So I, oh, there's a lot of things that deter people. But sometimes you got to you got to let them you got to let them work up to it. But I feel like it's an excuse for me to wear, uh, like a hot, hot gay bartender outfit. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I think overall, too, since we're trying to sell you on the Patreon, it's got to be Kate in her natural form, um, goblin, uh, and, and, you know, a little less gimmicky if there's already going to be a gimmick of a bar. You want, because you're here for Kate, not necessarily for the characters, but 
for the person that is Kate and me. For those that don't get to see this very often, or maybe not see this process, Kate made the pattern. And I am now, she made the pattern. Uh, I use spray glue, this guy right here, on the back of this to make it sticky, to trace it. You can also cut it out without having to trace it, um, but I don't tend to do that. Um, yeah, now I get the cut. I know, right? Y'all, this is my whole life. It's like me being like, I want to do everything. And he's like, calm down. You got to you gotta ease people into it. And I'm like, no. Step one. Act like a fucking goblin. Henry! Oh, it's so good to see you. Henry, has Winslow made it onto, like, TV news there? Because I know that Winslow's made it on TV in Brazil. Wondering if he's made it on, um... This is looking a little bit too Sonic the Hedgehog over here. I'm going to have to goof it up a little bit. The badgers aren't off as clean. <clears throat> Winslow. He's probably sleeping, but... He is sleeping. He's dead asleep. Curled up in a ball. On, Whoa! On... Where where are you at, um, Aluka? Where are you... Uh, where are you located that you saw Winslow on TV? Videos from unauthorized posters do not contribute to the golden plaque. The golden plaque will only be made when he reaches a million views on that original clip. Yeah, we will acknowledge as a household that he's over a million in views, but not it's got to be on one specific clip. We already clarified the rules before the unauthor unauthorized posters. Listen, he has to, we can't just give him everything at once. I know that he's the perfect baby and it's very hard to resist him. That's been, I think, the primary issue right now with uh, people who are seeing us for the first time and um, seeing clips of him and seeing me denying him things. They're like, your cat is too cute. Give him everything immediately. And obviously that is how we got to the point where we are now, which is he is a chonky baby and he needs to be on a diet in order for him to, you know, live a long and healthy life. And another thing about that that is very important to remember is because a lot of folks have been uh, harassing me on TikTok about how withholding I am uh, when it comes to the bean. Is that the activity... All I can think about is the mom from... Um... Arrested Development, yeah. but she's like, look, I'm being withholding. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of comments about how he's starving to death and I'm abusive and all these things. But the thing oh, is, can like, you make that as a TikTok? Can you not feed him and then cut into the clip? <laughs> and then of... cut into a clip of Lucille Bluth. Yeah. Look at me, I'm being withholding. Yes, absolutely. Um. <laughs> Well, fortunately, one of my good friends works for and with PETA, so I'm pretty sure she'll back me up as far as the treatment of Winslow. Um, she used to 
work with them to do like um, like promotional stunts and stuff and she also worked just in general with them at clinics uh, but that's not true Ari I'm on TikTok and my opinion matters like that's a that's dismissive and of an entire group of people I don't think that's necessarily the truth Winslow is on TikTok and he matters But, uh, okay, I think that's going to be the, the spikes on the badger's side. But the, the, the bean, having, like, things for him to ob ob obtain to, like, having things for him to work towards is actually really good for his health because cats can get depressed very easily. Um... And not having enough stuff to do, like not having enough entertainment for them is a really bad thing. So the piano is not just about us getting a cute piano. How do you not get little snaggly boys in the corner when cutting out spikes? I don't know what you mean. You just cut, cut in like that. Cut it to my camera. Watching people make TikToks during class sounds like the most obnoxious thing on earth. I'm so sorry. Didn't you graduate? Aren't you out of high school now? I thought you graduated. Am I insane? Are you a senior? I forget. I'm sorry for forgetting where you are in your high school career. Okay, you're going into senior year. I went to high school entirely online. Um, I was, I graduated in 2008 and I went to high school online um, in, from sophomore to senior year. So I had very little like public school problems because I just did you know, high school online. Shark, I am not a baby. I am about to be a 30 year old woman. It feels like it's taken forever to get to 30. I feel like I'm a 30 year old woman. It's <laughs> somebody else cleaning up after her mess. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Just messing with you. you. You have a snake for a face, so you do not get to talk to me about maturity. I do have a snake for a face, that is true. Have you considered, Shark, that I am not baby, but that you are old? What about that? My age is actually something I'm super sensitive about. <laughs> um, because I was always, as uh, Beth can can attest to. I was the youngest in my class pretty like consistently. I was, my birthday's in September, so I'm very late in the year and I've always had adult friends. So being the youngest is something that has always bothered me because I constantly get told, oh my gosh, you're so young. Oh my gosh, you're such a baby, which is crazy because a lot of times like I was like working in the same areas as adults and doing the same activities in with either the same or similar like prolificness um prolificity what, what is that y'all know what i'm trying to say like i i worked at the same rate even though i was younger like when i was working in costuming as a teenager in theaters or when i was working as an actor or when i was gigging <laughs> um, but yes, my birthday is September 19th. I'm going to be 30 this year. And I'm one of like three people laughing at gigging. Oh, nerd. Um, 
and being the youngest was always it always really bothered me because I felt like it was a way to diminish what I was doing like it was an easy way to dismiss me to be like oh you're so young your opinion doesn't matter like that to me is what you're so young means because a lot of times it was used as a way to dismiss my skill or to dismiss my ability or to dismiss my like personhood so I get really I get really up in arms when people tell me that I'm a baby or that I'm young because I've been told that I'm a baby since I was 15 working in um working in theater doing the same shit that my mom was when she was in her 50s And I'm like, fuck you, I'm ancient and eternal. I will kill you all. <laughs> I will fight you. I'm not as small or as quaint or as innocent or as whatever as you think I am. Infantilization, exactly. I was infantilized a lot because of my age and how uh, determined I was. Uh, and I find that the number that you are is a way for people to easily dismiss you. But now I'm going to be 30, and 30 is a grown-up number. You can't be like, oh, you're such a baby. Well, I mean, Shark could. <laughs> but you can't be like, oh, you're such a baby to a 30-year-old, because then you're like, well, if a 30-year-old is a baby, then what's an adult? But I felt 30 in my heart and soul. Yes, 100%. Holly and I did this, the, the Instagram filter that's like, guess your age. And one guessed, like, one guessed, first it guessed 19, then it guessed 45, then it guessed 20 something, I think 21. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen what you're doing. Let me check it out. So that's the side boy. This one might. Uh, how far in is this where you expect it to get cut into? Ish. Yeah. And then this is the top one. about the one on top. This one might be a little too big. I think like lengthwise? Yeah. I figured it would go like here like into where the I would be. It, no because you're going to have a giant bunching around the eyes if it's that deep in. You're going to have all of this material here and it's going to be uncomfortable. You want a little higher up. Okay well I can slim it down. Uh, I can just cut that off. You don't have to. You know what I mean? Like um, so I'm just trying to see. This would have to be, this needs to be smaller overall. It goes like. Yeah, looking at it, I, I can tell it already needs to be smaller. Like that needs to be smaller? Yeah. Like just cut off the bottom one? I'm just saying like a little bit of. Like closer to where I started? Yeah. The line? Uh, because while, um, it, it'll be the stretch material, so mm -hmm. it, I'm not worried about that aspect of it losing anything. Um, I just think it's going to be too large compared to the way the face is going to look. Yeah, that's like better. That. And you can just... Like there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I did this to the It'll look guy. cleaner if it's not so wide. So it kind of goes into the... Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's all I would care about is just this part right here. Mm -hmm. uh, having all that. Um, did you make the face... Not that you need to have. I mean, you didn't I, make the face no, I right. just started. Okay. I didn't know how far you got because I was working on this stuff.
the trash can's next to you. We'll have to. All right, so uh, this is the back panel outside. This is going to be the inside of the back panel. Uh, I cut the inside larger so that I have space to um, glue it on, and, and it's hard to, it's so I can sandwich it, and then I cut out the excess after. Um, I don't mind um, having to cut it out after. I find that, for me at least, uh, it makes this a lot more accurate as uh, having the fabric in between these two pieces I means sometimes one of these pieces can slide and you miss and then you have to redo it. So I avoid that just by making the bottom overall larger or the inside piece I should say, not the bottom, the inside piece overall larger so that no matter what it'll catch it. I feel like kids always try to look older, though. When I was younger, I would always try to look older. Like, it's not just not something that's happened today. It's just when you'd have a lot more resources about what it means to look like an adult. Like, uh, like it's easier now to get resources about how to do your makeup and how to, like, there, there's more fashion resources and more of that stuff. I don't necessarily think it's a new phenomenon. It's just... Um, easier to do now. It's definitely not new. I mean, you know, societies were marrying off their 12 and 13 year olds, you know, for centuries. I mean, not for centuries. Child marriage isn't that common. It's just the pedophiles are the ones I who mean, wrote the stories. Like, it's not, um, it's not as common as the, as, like, historical fiction likes to present it. So I start off with Hollywood is so used to seeing people with like it's like 20 year olds with 50 year olds. All right, so The requests for this were that it be longer in the face and more boxy like a dog, right? Uh, yeah, the nose was... So you can pull up the email. But the nose needed to come out more like a dog's nose. And the ears need to be more like Tiger Mask's ears. Mm -hmm. Which is easy. This Tiger Mask is pretty much the way we make our ears anyway. Mm -hmm. So to the side and not front facing. Well, his ears specifically were little cones. From what I remember. Yeah. The tiger mask. Yeah, they're like little cones. I've always felt 30, Aluka. I've always felt like I, I've always felt like a grown up. Even when I was little, I um, I always felt much older than than I was. It's nice to finally have the number match closer to how I felt. Match the ancient being that's stuck inside of your body. Yes. 100%. You can switch back to you.
gluing part is um, actually not that difficult. It's just tedious and time consuming. So you have to wait for the glue to dry some, to get tacky, um, before you apply the pieces. So I do a little bit at a time. I do the bottom half, I do the middle to top portion, and then the top completely so that it lays as even as I can get it. Um, You're I'll, on cam right now. Oh, am I? Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I didn't realize you switched me over. Um, this glow is almost out. I'm only using it because I don't want to go on the newer bottle. I want to get rid of what's in here first. So like I did last week with the applying the applique pieces um, on the Ophidian mask. I Before you get too deep in that, can you hand me an exacto knife? I can't. My hand's covered. My finger's Never covered. Never mind. I can if you give me a moment. Once I get to the point where I've spread this glue. Um, but I spread it with my fingers so that there aren't large clumps. Sometimes it's still going to happen, but... I spread it. I let it get a little more tacky than what it is. Now that it's about an appropriate level of tacky. That's me, an appropriate level of tacky. Good to see you in the chat. Cool. All right, now we can do the top half. If we end at a time that seems, you start at six, right? Someone, I mean, if Bright's in, just lurking, maybe someone else can answer, but I think he starts at six. If you do start at six, I'll try and raid you when we're done, because we should be streaming until six. Depending on what we do and how much gets done. Use your fingers to spread the glue? Of course. Yeah, That's well, what we use, like a popsicle stick or something? Yeah, I don't know what else I would use outside of my fingers. I trust my fingers more than I trust the device. What are you, you selling, know? Ari? Girl homunculus? What's a homunculus? A homunculus, if I remember right, is like a husk kind of like a creature. I might be wrong. Um, but I know from like playing um No, yeah. Very small human or humanoid creature. Yeah, for Magic the Gathering, they look a bit different. So, are you making like a little person doll?
Uh, I do just peel the glue off of my fingers. That is correct. Your chat is different from my chat. What do you mean? I'm saying that there are stuff in here that I didn't see in mine. Do you flick the glue around like boogers? Sometimes I make little uh, figurines out of the glue and leave them around the sewing room. That's a homunculus, right? The little things you make out of glue. Yeah. Definitely. And if you think I'm kidding, I'm not. We only don't, I'd show you one, but we don't have any because we cleaned up the sewing room recently and threw a bunch of stuff out. Oh, it's not that. It's that the people on um, your sh on your screen have are different colors than on mine. Oh, because I'm the probably because I'm the streamer, like the because you're watching from the Closet Champion account. Like maybe it's because of that. Yeah, uh, makeup spatulas and like little bent wire makes sense uh, for spreading glue, but I just rather use my finger. Um, yeah, what's it doing? <laughs> I prefer being able to feel the glue and where it goes and hands can be washed. Yeah. And the glue just comes right off. It doesn't actually stick to your hands, you know. Everyone is different colors on every stream. Like if I refreshed, we'd all be different colors. Oh. No glue learn, on hands. You learn something new every day. I gotta let that dry for a moment. Did you check out the email? Hmm? What email? The one he sent about the changes. I just remember. Oh, no, Magnetac just, like, peels off your hands. Oh, that absolutely makes sense, Omega. Um, you're using E6000, right? Or or the, the stuff, the, I don't remember the name, the stuff you get from Japan that we used to, you sent those pictures oh, of. Oh, God, I have no idea. Um, I remember you sending it to us in the Discord. Uh yeah, I don't know what that glue... I mean, I know what E6000 feels like. And I wouldn't rub my hands all over that. That stuff is not Noxious, fun. Noxious, yeah. Yeah. What did I come over here for? The white pleather. Um, I guess I gotta use the matte stuff. Yeah. Needs to be a little bit shorter, not a lot shorter though. Yeah, the Ko Konishi G17. Yeah, the stuff that you sent us uh, pictures of in the Discord. I just couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm sh dude, I'm a shark's comment. Magnetac is uh, my <laughs> least favorite, favorite Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. That's too long.
Oh, Holly, you weren't here for the beginning. We have four cameras now. This one that's up, up above me right now is actually um, my old cell phone being hooked up through um, OBS cam. The OBS cam app. Yeah, four. We got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. What are your patterns that you're making, Omega? I wonder when a baby will visit us. go get a baby when I go get my meds. on you. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like how bright it is. I'll have to fix that for next time. So what I'm doing right now uh, is tracing out the side pieces that Kate uh, patterned just a little bit ago. I'm using uh, air and water soluble marker since this is fabric that we're using. It's not the vinyl like we use for the face plate and the back panel. Um, this will, this marker will evaporate on its own over time, or you can just use some water and wipe it off. You know, Holly, we were far from productive uh, yesterday. Well, I mean, we were productive all day, but man, we crashed hard at night as soon as we were able to. We didn't do any of the setup for today's stream. We skipped out on it. We ordered sushi and watched Critical Role all night. Did you turn your mic off? I did. Okay. Just making sure. All right. Uh, I have not watched the AEW D and D stream, though I have saw um, Dustin's tweets about it. Chuck Taylor's tweets about getting real drunk before he was playing it. Don't know if that actually happened, but I would have loved. I plan on watching the stream, just haven't done so yet. Did you watch it, Green Eight? There's no camera on you. I found a baby. Yeah, I saw. I know Brandon uh, Cutler is his name. Um, does I mean he obviously is a big D and D player and costumer. Him and his wife. Um, I know he was the DM for it, for the best friends and all the others they had on. Here you can see his largeness. If you notice, he takes up my entire torso because he is large as well as chonky. Note his largeness as well as his chonkiness. 
Chonky. Lorge. But not as large as he used to be because he lost weight on his piano diet. Yeah, that's where you are. Over there. Yeah, look at the camera. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. You're so talented and skilled and smart. I have to sit down with you though because you are a little bit too large. Oh, I'm gonna go in here. Now you can leave. At the um, recommendation of Dr. Omega there in the chat, a little while ago we got silicone mats to use for our spray glow endeavors. And because they were silicone mats, uh, and they were not like, they're not cutting mats. But nope, but I made sure to test it as soon as we got the one. The second he got one, we, he opened it up and put an exacto knife through it to be like, are these cutting mats? No, they are not. I just wanted to know if they could withstand an exacto knife. They cannot. Um, but they do work well for something to spray onto, for sure. I think that depending on how quickly we figure out the face patterns, we might be able to get a majority. Of this done today? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm saying I'm not today, I mean on stream. I mean, I can get done the math for the most part today. Sorry, I'm taking care of something household wise because I noticed that there are some flies congregating by our, our litter box and I want that to stop. Dude, I'm a shark and Henry Higgins, you guys are absolutely correct. The only way to know that you've gone too far is to go too far. Here I have, it's hard to see. And boy, I've got the pieces to cut out for the mask. Let's take a look at what Kate made over here. I still think this is not sharp enough. Not boxy enough? Yeah, I mean, not the size is fine. I don't. I'm not referring to that. Uh, I mean the the way that the nose comes to a point. I think that this. Where's the head at? I just think this needs to curve in sharper. It doesn't need to be up here as much as here. Just a hard curve in. Because if you look at those little animals too, they have that. Like, it just, it billows out Ooh. fast and hard. All right, I will cut in harder. Yeah, we bought a multi-pack Omega. Um, so I made sure the one that we messed up was just 
sacrifice. And we still used it. The one I stabbed. Hey, Badger. We're working on your mask. Currently trying to make the pattern boxy like a dog like you asked, which is what I'm working on right now. You can see, Badger, that these are patterns for your mask laid out. Is that better? No. This is too far down. I'm doing the camera. I think this is too far down. This black bit needs to end up here. And this still needs to come in sharper. That's not the way a badger looks though. It's not about so much the way it looks, it's also the way it's going to cover the mouth and the, 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 the nose and, and all that. I mean, the actual face when it's on it. So what does that being up here have to do with how it covers the mouth? Because if you're doing that sharper, this is going to cut into this. So this needs to be up higher. This needs to end. Like, instead of ending here, it needs to end closer to up here. So that... So do you want the whole thing to be shorter? Not shorter in length, it just needs to be... I think it needs to come in more. But that's what he said he didn't want in his email. Pull it back up. Because what I wrote, he was like, no, I want it to look more like a dog. Go all the way down, right? Oh no, there it goes. A rectangular look with rounded edges like a dog's nose. Maybe I'm miss. Maybe I'm. Well, he's on the stream. I'll ask him because to me, I think it cuts in more like that, and you get. That's rid of... what I originally designed, but a, no, a... I mean it was just too long. Like you had it down here. No, I know. Way. I mean on the image. I originally designed that on the image, and what his request was more rectangular look with rounded edges like a dog's nose which is, I think more like what this is here I don't think it looks like that I don't like the way that looks personally like I think it needs a sh it needs more a more defined face like a more defined nose it doesn't have to be so sharp of a cut in I'm not saying it needs to be up here but I think it still needs a little bit more and because then it's going to look weird and, and wide on the mask like it's not going to look um it's going to look boxy in a in an unnatural way when it sits on the mask i mean that was his request but badger you let us know where you want this nose to go because we seem to disagree entirely on what your instructions mean so this is where it's at right now the face plate which would look like this with this boxier look like a dog's nose. So I will put you on FaceTime to show you what it looks like on a human face. It would look like that. With the two pieces coming down here and then this being the little nose at the bottom. You can't hear me? I'm not talking to you. So that's the current iteration, which is what I believe was said in the email. But again, Badger has said nothing so far. So he either left, not realizing he would be needed, and so that's the question, Badger. Is this the face shape you want, or do you want it to look more like the original drawing? Like when you said boxy like a dog's nose, this is what I imagined. Is this correct? If it's not, I will change it. This is how I understood your instructions. And then we'll have Tiger Mask's ears right there. I mean, Ophidian believes that it looks off. I do not believe that it looks off.
He says my thing is more what he meant. But if it looks off, then to adjust. Looks a little bit more badgery, in my opinion. Did we do the masks for Razorhawk? Yes, we did. We did the masks and costumes of the majority of the Chikara roster before the company shut down. The other gear was done, some of it was done out of our stuff, but the majority of Chikara was made by Closet Champion. A new thing right now for flavors is to sweeten my iced coffee with maple syrup. It's been awesome. Power Ranger mask it is going off to its um going off to its its owner quite soon. If you want us to make lucha masks for your kids, just let us know. It's not the first one lucha mask we've made for a child, and I'm sure it will not be the last. That's looking a lot better. Yeah, I just took it in basically the middle between your line and my, where it was at? Yeah, mine was just like a guess. I didn't necessarily, you know, here's the actual pattern, but I don't want it to um, cover the entirety of the open mouth. And as wide as it was, it would have Especially if he's using it for podcasting, mm -hmm. you don't want you don't want the mouth covered. You don't want the voice bouncing off of the vinyl. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use that. A different piece of paper. Love this. We often go back and forth on many of the designs. Um, in a good way, like. Sometimes in a bad way. More good than bad. Well, I would say that's. Our I just want to look pretty. I didn't see any of this. Yeah, more than I meant. It's, it's me. I'm, I'm You're redoing the, the pattern. Not redoing it, just tracing the eye oh, bit. Okay. Yeah. And with that curve, that sharper curve in, mm -hmm. um, it looks more animal.
I want a light box. I hate hand tracing this stuff, trying to just like see what's underneath it. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't trace it in marker. The red isn't much darker than the pencil line. I would have given you the black. We have some, uh, I found some fresh black that aren't dry. like when the door doesn't all the way isn't all the way open to the bathroom because it means that I can see myself in the mirror when I'm sitting in this chair and it freaks me out. So for those of you who are subscribed or follow this channel on Twitch, thank you. If you haven't already, please do so. If you have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe for free using your Amazon Prime account. I mean, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free using Twitch Prime. The other way around. And on Saturday, we will be uh, what am I trying to do here? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to do? I'm going to be recording some stuff on Saturday, music stuff, recording music stuff Saturday on live on Twitch. Those are the, that's the details I was trying to fucking tumble out of my mouth. Glue hates me too, apparently. We need some acetone. And these. There's acetone in the bathroom. In the cabinet. Top cabinet. How much? I don't know how dry it is. Dry. Um, however much is in there, I would do like between a quarter and a third of that amount of liquid. Okay. Nose done. Face done. Stripes almost done, but you can cut this pattern out because the lines are very easy to understand. Now time to figure out how to make Tiger Mask's ears. Oh no. Did you shake it up enough? Apparently not. Maybe I put too much in. They look like they're basically little cones. Oh, yeah, that's just, the acetone's just spearing back out at me. Ah, thank you so much, uh, Gyarados. It's much appreciated. I didn't even know she was in the 
She's probably lurking. She lurking. That's basically the tiger mask here. It's just like that guy. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it would go like. I wonder how would that interact with the pattern? Do they just go get attached the same way that tiger masks get attached, which is like on the side? I mean, we did those ears for um, Pete Dunn. Not the same exact ones, but we've done a similar set of ears for Pete. Right, that's why I'm asking you. Do they just get attached? Like if this is... Yeah, so instead of front facing like they like, are now... They're like that, basically? Yeah. Okay. I'll figure it out myself, Green Ant. I don't need no Ted to help me. Strong words from our competitors. It's not that there's no shame in help, it's that I already figured out how to do this. I can do it myself. As we discussed earlier, I am a grown lady. enough pasty to know how to make a cone shape. It's true, I am so old and I have all this wisdom. The question is how they attach. Because Pete See, Dunn's... That's the worst part, uh, Green Ant, is because we've actually done these ears before, but it's been so long since we last did them. Um, this specific style, it looks like they get sewn down in the mm -hmm. seam, but how do you get the foot all the way inside it's the It's only ear? cheating to you, Tenacious Tiger. How do you... How do you sew it on, Omega? Because, like, from the image, it looks like you sew it down like in here, right? But how do you get the, how do you get you the You make foot? a triangle, right? Right, but do you just push this down and pray for the best? Like to get the foot all the way into the triangle. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. I yeah. figured we just push smash it, it. Smash it and pray for the best? Yeah. Okay. It's like you had bend the edges of the wedge together so long, so sew along on the inside here zipper foot right in there and you just crush this when it's well I don't want to mess it up I knew how to make this part but I don't want to I think that's it yeah dang all right then that's the that's the thing about lucha mask making is you think there's going to be a technique and the technique is just do it <laughs> The technique is the technique is get over yourself and do it the hard way, dumbass. Um, well, then I think I'm done pattern making. Uh, mouth is the next thing. I'm sewing the uh, back panel on now, so you can work on the mouth. I figured that we would put the white panels on before we put the mouth on. Nope, white uh, mask the mouth first. I'm you're not going to be the one that has to sew the mouth down after that white panel's on. I mean, sewing two layers of spandex onto a thing is never a problem before. Mouth first. Okay. Can I explain to you why I would do it the other way, or do you not care? Uh, you can tell me why you're going to do it the other way, but it's no different from any other mask where we cut the mouth out first. 
I mean, the mouth might, I mean, you just cutting it out or finishing the edge? No, yeah, completely finishing the mouth and then the then, then vinyl you have gets the, put on top. Right, but then you have the white vinyls that you have, are you going to fold them over into the thing? Because they would be along the mouth edge. So, like, why not just put the white on there? Why would they be along the mouth edge? They're, they're up here and not down here. They kind of go into the mouth the way I, the way I made them. I'll have to see it once, once I'm done this part. Because in my head, the the side pieces do not go down that far. Into, or they're hidden behind the, the, the panel. So you wouldn't see them on the mouth anyway. Okay. Exactly. Gyarados. Um, the ears would probably be, uh, I mean, this isn't accurate, Tenacious Tiger. It is, we're doing the, the mask the same way we always make an open mouth mask, like with the one we just made, with, uh, the Power Ranger one. Yeah, but that didn't have applique that would go into the mouth. The applique shouldn't be in the mouth. I think you're correct, <laughs> Gyarados. <laughs> Absolutely, I think you're correct. No, if it's in the mouth, the applique is too big. Okay. As far as lining the ears, um, the, there's no problem, Green Ant. The thing is that, like, so you see these white pieces. Oh, God, how do I do this? The white pieces that go on the side of the face. I'll face turn. So the white pieces that go on the side of the face, I think that they're going to go into the part that would be flipped over to finish the edge of the mouth. So that's why I would put them on before I did the mouth, to, because I think that they're going to intersect with how he would cut out the open mouth. But so I'm saying is that they shouldn't be in the mouth because then they're too big. The mouth should not have the white applique in it from the sides. The white applique should disappear behind the vinyl. Because okay. if it comes out from behind the vinyl, then it blends into the vinyl. And if it's in front of the vinyl, like if it's lower than the vinyl. Okay. Uh, okay. I've already conceded to your way. You don't need to. I'm already letting you do it the way that you're going to do it. Where is the silicone spray? We're not fighting. If we were fighting, you would know. This is not what fighting looks like. This is just every day. We're both very passionate people who are convinced we're absolutely right and are so used to defending ourselves to people that don't believe us. I don't think it has anything to do with necessarily being right or wrong. It's just we look at the designs differently. Like the way we envision the patterns, the way they fall, uh, the way it should look. Neither one of us are wrong. We're both right. Because this is a thing that we're making ourselves. You know, like it's a made up, like even the way you have in the design. Yeah. Everyone always thinks that we're bickering, but it's just our like debating process in order to, we're both super passionate people. And this is why we're in love. It's because we both defend our positions with, you know. If neither of us cared about this, we wouldn't be passionate about the opinion, you know? Like if neither of us really cared about what we were doing. Finally. Finally, the third camera. And if we didn't care about what we were doing, we wouldn't be doing it because we're both super passionate people. And if we're not completely interested in our whole heart isn't in something, we, it's kind of hard to get us to do it. Um, that's why we have this business that we have because we love, I love making things and Ophidian didn't realize it because he was used to fighting things, but he loves making things too. And I mean, we don't always necessarily come to an understanding because <laughs> there's just, you just gotta be, sometimes you're just like, yeah, sure, man, you're right. I don't, I don't care enough to escalate this. No, yeah, sure, go ahead. Do it your hard way. Do it your way. I don't really, like, you can, you can mess it up as much as you want. Who am I to, what do I know? I only have almost 20, over 20 years of sewing experience. What could I possibly know about the situation? 
but that's part of the problem, guys. Is that <laughs> she she has all these years of experience, and I come in like I would never do that and just cut through the process in a completely different way. Uh, sometimes it's helpful, and sometimes yeah. it's a disaster. I'm like, no, all this extra work just seems pointless. Screw all this. We're gonna do this way instead. Okay, so uh, I have all. I know. have all your bits. I'm gonna put them over with the other bits. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave you these bits over here because I'm gonna start using that other table. Um, mm, I don't I? know what you mean by filtrum strip. Um, this is the filtrum of the face. Is this? Oh, I didn't know that word. Area. Yeah. Um, no, it's exactly like the Power Rangers mask that we just made, Omega, and or the still life ones that we've made in the past. Ophidian started making his masks when, he, uh, like two years ago, three years ago. Uh, the Ouroboros was the first full mask. I, no, no, that's a lie. The all I made the um, the sparkly one with all the um, that we rhinestoned. That was the mask before that one. Yes. That would have been 2016 ish. Time for your um, yeah, something around there. But before that, we um, we <laughs> um, before that, I made his masks, and then before that, we were using a maker called um, MJ, based out of MJ Mask Factory, based out of Japan. Uh, yeah, Hawaii and Japan. Hawaii and Japan. Depend on the time of year. Um, so he makes his masks. He make he's made his mask for the last like four years ish, maybe. Okay, I don't need these anymore. I don't need this anymore. I think I am gonna stay here for a little bit because I'm gonna design what I'm gonna make today. Or not today or whenever I make it. Who knows how far I'll get on my process. At least this part that's our actual, like, gear making stuff is done. I mean, yeah, you could start your patterns while I... Well, I don't know if I'm gonna... I'm not making patterns until I figure out what I'm gonna... Yeah, the badger, the faceplate just floats off the nose like Mantis, like Ultramanus Black. Uh, it's got a chin strap. It's got a lace back panel. So the there's no... Um, there's no... Um, what do you call it? Uh, there's no strap under the chin necessarily. We cut out the mouth after the fact for this type of mask. We find that it could be very comfortable that way. Um, so that it fits like... A traditional lucha mask it has that same um, adherence to the face um, but we cut out the mouth completely uh, after the base is made and then flip and stitch it so it's got stretch and since the person wearing it is not performing in it it'll be a lot more comfortable that way I actually had part of the eye of tear for years badger there was part of the eye of tear um, in our like costuming supplies because at some point the prop changed and like there needed to be a new it needed to have a new cord on it or something so the little chain that the um, the little chain that the eye of tear on was in my possession for years Cannot figure out if it may be more or less powerful.
the world will never know how much we actually did behind the scenes. Nope, it was Chikara. all the person who who ran the company, and not not all of us, for sure. <laughs> But yeah, the, um, the, I had some black twill tape, I think, that ended up being used as the cord for the Eye of Tear because I think it had to be placed around someone's neck and the little watch chain that it was on could not, like, it was like a bracelet. It could not be placed around someone's neck, so. But yes, the fire reveals what the flesh conceals, everybody. Watch us on Monday nights when we're all... It's true, last season was on Saturday mornings. We ran the streams for the first couple weeks on um, on social media from our computer. I think that's true of all sewing, Omega, because there are things that like I have known the name for for years that if I talk to another seamstress, um, the it's very they they even though it's the same technique, they use an entirely different term for it, and it might be a term that I used for something else. So it's not just it's not just mask making specifically. I think it's all sewing. Um, I think honestly part of that is due to the fact that like it's a Christmas tree. Hmm. Are we inside, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think part of it I mean, this is, might be a little bit galaxy brain conspiracy of me, but I don't think so. I think part of it is the same reason that we don't have things about like uh, burlesque history and things stuff like that is that it was a prim primarily female industry and um there, there wasn't a ton of information about it. Like women weren't allowed to disseminate information in the same way as men were because of who controlled like where publish, what was published and where and who taught in schools and what schools were and what, what that looked like. So I think a lot of the reason why we don't have the same sewing information in different places is just from like institutional sexism over periods of hundreds of years. Um, <clears throat> So it might not be that galaxy brain, but I think that's the reason why uh, I think that's the reason why so many sewing terms and things are are different in different places is because it was it's not as regulated in the same way that other published media or published information was regulated because it was done primarily through like women and you know like female like female organized and established industries. Gyarados, you've seen us put on lace panels before. Yeah, and you've been in our home while we've done many of them. I will say that to Dr. Omega's point, which, because a majority of mask makers are men, um, I don't know what ha like why that is the case. Like every gear maker from Mexico I've met, or everyone from Japan I've met, or I've read about, have all been male mask makers. Um, I've never. And the closet closet champion YouTube channel demographics say that it's ninety eight percent male. Yeah. Ninety. 8% male viewership for the Closet Champion YouTube channel and whenever there's a video where I speak or talk primarily we lose subscribers um, and I don't know why um, I mean it's not sexism why men are mass makers it's sexism <laughs> but uh, they've done a 
um, there's been a lot of uh, throughout the years that if I teach this art, it will get stolen and I will lose my money, which I can understand of um, classic luchadors, like classic math makers from Mexico. But I don't think of that being the case now. Um, the profession of tailors primarily men, yes, I think it's just because what step of the design assembly process is Winslow working on? The sleeping part, I assume. Let me double check, see what he's doing. Baby boy. You might have, you might be onto something there, Green Ant. Um, there's definitely something yep, historically that, because of kayfabe, that we don't know. Um, as far as like the mass makers go. So the inside is not completely cut out yet. I will cut it closer to the edges, um, but it's cut out enough right now so that it's not in the way and uh, I can pass it off to Kate to uh, help me cut the mouth out. black marker. A black marker? Yes. Yeah. The one that has Savannah's name on it, because I was assuming it was her marker at one point, Yes. is the one that is most fresh. Like it is... Um, it's not I dried out yet. I don't think that's, a, that's still true of, seam, of, of sewing Omega, because... I've, I've met sewists that do everything entirely differently, and I, I think that, I don't know, technique is not as regulated as people like to, th like to believe it is. But then again, I'm also self-taught, so I just learned from like YouTube tutorials and my family and working in sewing industries. I mean, at this point, we're both self-taught and we've helped uh, at least two other people who are self-taught and Green Ant and Tenacious. Got a, uh, are you self-taught, Omega? Did you, have you taken courses in any way? Um, I know that obviously you've, you've traveled and got to work in, um, in other rooms with other mask makers in other parts of the world. Um, I don't know if you consider that, I can't say classes, but... Okay. Bring me the mask. Um, We're going over well, the nose, right? No filtrum? Yeah, no. It's the, again, for maximum comfort. But I don't want to put that on just yet. Give me one second. Because we're on stream. Oh, and we were talking. One. We were talking about it earlier. Uh, this one. There we are. You're on cam now. Oh no! I wasn't expecting to be on cam. Well, I'm not doing anything because I'm waiting for you. So. Uh, do you have the pins over there? You do. Behind your coffee. Omega took sewing in middle school, but taught himself how to make masks by buying a mask, tracing it, and fumbling through a bunch of different ways. So you learn the same way we did. My first, my first Lucha masks that I ever made were so disastrous they were unwearable. I made them for a wrestling company called Squared Circle Review, um, and I 
foolishly made the entire thing out of vinyl, like the entire mask out of vinyl. Um, I was in my early 20s and I made it so horribly and did such a terrible job that I was like, I'm never making this again. Cut to 10 years later. <laughs> and it's my whole job. Well, not anymore. Now being a musician is the majority of my job. Yeah. We needed the sewing job to get to that job. Mm-hmm. Just jobbing left and right. Curtain jerking for years. Gotta jerk those curtains. So I'm gonna lay the... I don't have the patterns cut out. I've got them traced. Because you do make a point in that if you drew them to go over the mouth, mm -hmm. and in my head they shouldn't be over the mouth, then we should correct the patterns first before we go further. Those are the ears. Is that the nose? Yes, yeah, the nose. And I want to make sure that Whoa! I just realized that the thing that Henry Higgins tagged me in on Twitter, the reply that he tagged me in is for cats who have dinner bells. Oh my god. Yeah! Dr. Omega, I wrestled uh, the second Will of the Wisp in North Carolina years ago, who is now, uh, you know, Andrew Everett all over the world. But I was hyped to wrestle uh, Will-O-The-Wisp 2 because I knew about the Will-O-Wisp Will character that Jeff Hardy did. But I had no idea you were the original mask maker. Um. So, come here, milkshake. Mm -hmm. So in my head, this was, well, this is in the way now. This was closer to up here. I mean, it would be in further. Yeah, but I'm t like the way I had envisioned it was, it was up there, but It, this doesn't work the same. Um, that would still end up in the mouth a little bit. Yeah, but comparatively speaking now, hmm. because this pattern originally was a lot bigger and we cut it down and we cut it down and we cut it down, mm -hmm. I think that these guys probably need to be cut down too to match the fact that this is smaller, which means I'm gonna have to retrace all these. I think this fine. is fine. I think this is exa looks exactly like what it should. I mean, maybe we, Maybe we, I mean, this needs to be. Yeah. So like. Because this would be sewn, like the mouth would be sewn down to about right there and that part would be mm -hmm. loose. Yeah, I guess that could go up there. I mean, that would still end up a little bit in the mouth. But that's how I envisioned it. Like, yes, I made the pattern a little bit smaller, but that's about where it should be. Which I guess you could do without get it cutting out the mouth first, but I feel like it's going to be better to put this on first. I mean, if it's a little bit extra, I would do what I did with the um, Wolverine mat. Not that Wolverine mat. That mask we just made with the stripes. How I just kind of went in underneath. Okay, then 
I'll cut the mouth out when you're ready. Um. How many construction hours are involved in making a mask is the question that Badger has for us. It's hard to um, judge how many hours are involved because we make multiple things at once. Um, you know, we were working on this mask last week while we were making the Power Ranger mask. Um, and Kate's now working on another project while we work on this one. Um, but I would say to make a complete base, like to cut everything out, to line it, to um, put the twill tape in, um, that all happens within a day. You know what I'm saying? Within an eight hour work day, it is fully completed um, to make the base. If we're stop, if I'm doing it nonstop, I can probably do it in five hours if I don't take a break. But we're usually watching something or again working on other stuff, so it'll take the full eight hours because we're doing other things while we're working on the stuff. Um, but every mask beyond that is very different because the applique pieces are all different shapes and sizes, and the way it fits to the head are different, and the construction is different for each one. Average um, estimate. Uh, I would say between 20 and 60 hours. That's a big I mean, difference. that's the truth. Average estimate, that's between 20 and, like, maybe 20 and 40. I can make my mask the... I can make this mask, right, from start to finish within three days, but we have every single pattern cut out and I don't have to do any additional work other than the construction of the mask. Yeah, because it's not just the construction of the mask, it's also the figuring in between of like, is the pattern right? Is the, once it, once it actually is on the head, what does it look like? And this, this person has a larger or smaller head. Does that mean that's gonna change things? Like, I would say, yeah, between 20 and 40 hours. 60 on something super difficult. Yeah. Um. Not including, well. That's not even including it. If you take up the fact that you had to draw draw it up yeah. and design it. Um, you know, you have to do the sketches out first. The which answer is people are lucky that they aren't paying us hourly is the point. Because <laughs> if you were paying a seamstress what a seamstress makes in like a, in, in a standard bespoke shop per hour, you would be paying a lot more than what we charge. But we can't charge that because indie wrestlers would never be able to afford it. True dad. Haha, -ha, die. Die, fly. All right. Why didn't you just take it all the way off the head? Because you did the, the last one on the head. You traced it out while it was on the head. Well, can you give me a piece of chalk or am I just fucked over here? I just gave it to you the way that you did the last one. I know you do it different every time. Bye, Henry. Thanks for joining us. I was going to spin it towards you. And we're just flipping and zigzagging this, right? Because he's not using it for... No, he's using it for... Podcasting. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. The unsung heroes of wrestling are gear makers, and they're always going to get shit from, for, about how long things take or what it involves and how much we charge and... I don't think there's anyone more ungrateful than an independent wrestler. Well, someone who was on TV. That would be a more ungrateful person. Can I have pins? Pins? Yeah. And uh, fabric scissors? Ha 
Molly, we've just figured out that our frog shirts were stolen off of our stoop and we probably have to reorder them. Hopefully USPS will um, be able to give us something for them being lost, but yeah. We should have we should have gotten our frogs shirts Monday, but they were taken off our front stoop. Yeah, it's wild how people on TV are so cheap when they make so much more than indie wrestlers. We've gotten I, we've gotten um, shit for our prices from people in the Fed for sure. I think a big part of that is because Fabric when scissors? they go from the indies to TV, they're expecting to still pay the indie prices. And you're like, you have a six-figure contract. You do not get to pay nothing. I will give it to you for free when I start making six figures. And, and even then, we knowing that our prices are reasonable and they're, you know, we're not making junk, we're making quality. And we charge a little bit more than most um, gear makers or mask makers charge. Um, well, because we're trying to live. Yeah. I, I based our original prices off of um, J Mass Factory's prices. what he charged me for masks seemed like the price that he would pay for the type of item he was making. Um, I never thought it was too expensive until I ordered, until I um, had the opportunity to get a mask from a um, Mexican gear maker. Uh, and um, obviously the price difference is um, so exaggerated because, um, what do you call it, the exchange rate from American money to the peso from the dollar to the peso is so extreme. So for those of you in the chat who are viewers, of the Lullaby Lounge. What I'm hoping to design and start making today is the outfit that I wear for the first episode of the season. Um, do you want to flip and stitch that? The mouth? I know you don't want to stitch the mouth. I'm not saying that, but... Uh... I mean, I'm already flipping it. All you gotta do is stitch it. I'm gonna be over here working on this stuff. So I wanted to cut this stuff, or at least trace all this stuff down on this table before you kicked me out to do your stuff. Okay. That's so I was asking if you wanted to stitch it. Oh, well, I can stitch it. I'll bring, uh... Oh, I can't bring any. Oh, I guess I can. I, can, I can take the camera over to you. If you go over there, I'll, uh... I'll I'm trying to pin it the way you would pin it to see what it's like to pin it the other direction. It's hard. It feels backwards. <laughs> that is most of our lives, guys. I pin things completely differently than she does, and we both constantly get on... Well, let me, first, let me phrase that. I get on Kate more than she gets on me about um, the way we pin things. I just pin it cause, so my hands get stabbed, because I don't care. I don't have the um, calluses. Strength, fortitude. From, Yes, I don't have the emotional capabilities and intelligence to handle getting stabbed in the fingers while I sew. Well, isn't that the way, though, of capitalism, Omega? The higher classes, those in upper classes, are the thing people that get things for free because they're important, when really, the people who have no money would appreciate the free thing or the discount more. That's why it's so hard to get people to sponsor my show. I'm like, look, I have 50 viewers. And they're like, nice. Call me when you have 100 or 100,000. $40 
Unfortunately, though, due to the age of the internet, you can develop social capital, like we are doing here, and prove, have that to prove your worth. Because the day I found out that Instagram likes are just as valid as money because it's a system that people believe in that, rev that proves your worth, I was like, wow, no nothing matters. I can do whatever I want. I was like, oh, these, these fake numbers in my bank account are just as worthy as the fake numbers on my social media stuff? Now I can just live my life. Can't wait to pay for uh, my groceries today with likes on Instagram. I mean, sometimes you do, though. <laughs> That's what Omega just... Uh, the story he just told. Um, Thorn just called you Obsidian instead of Ophidian, but hi, Thorn. Jericho once said Obsidian in a promo, and my uncle called me and said Jericho mentioned me on TV. And nice. I was like, I and don't you're like, think mm. you. <laughs> I know you mean well, but you're old and have no idea what, what you just heard. It's okay. It's just like all the people who call me Katie Nix or spell my name with a Y and all the random stuff people call us that isn't our names. You're right with, I mean, you're going to have to be. Yeah. Where do they put the Y? K-A-Y-T-E-N-Y-X or K-A-Y-T-N-Y-X, which is so hilarious because when I was the other name that we don't say on this channel because for fear of people calling me it again and it makes me so sad when people do so I don't even say what it is because I don't want people who don't know the name to start calling me it because um, everyone thinks it's a joke. They're like, haha, I'm calling you this old name and what I want to do is punch everyone who says it in the face. Um, so back when I went by my other name, people would forget the first Y in my name all the time because it was spelled... I'm using a shiny for the nose. Shiny black? Yeah, just for the nose. Cold wet nose. Well, because, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Are you going to use the, uh, chrome, the chrome leatherette? Yeah. Word. Uh, is it on? Okay. But people would forget the first Y in that name all the time pretty um, commonly. It was actually spelled more commonly incorrect than it was spelled correctly. So the fact that people put an extra Y in my name now is unendingly hilarious to me. And by unendingly hilarious, I mean moderately offensive, but the kind of thing you just have to laugh at because people getting your name wrong when nobody knows who you are is just something that happens. One thing I hate about sewing on stream is that we can't have the light fully on the uh, machines. Or else you would be blinded by it. Revved up like a douche.
Yes, I am wearing my Agent Carter shirt. My brother got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. My favorite Kate Nix song is Diag Nonsense. Top three, Diag Nonsense, in no specific order. Diag Nonsense, uh, Blood and Bone, and Sell Out. Mouth, open mouth, so... Here, toss it my way. Are you going to put it on over your mask? Yeah. I know he's got a bigger head than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we, it is much appreciated. I am going to raid my good friend Bright because his stream has just started. Um, he is going to be playing all original songs today for his music live stream. So I'm going to kick you over there with him and hang out with you over there in the chat for a couple minutes. Um, so yeah, let's go over to Bright stream. Thank you so much for joining us, obviously. We appreciate it. And if you like what you saw, check back on Saturday for more making in the Closet Champion studio. All right. Mwah. Bye, humans.